everybody, this is Zodok Dieter 635 Today I will do a, um, this will be a three part video on how I modify the Agile Step It robot by Girlo Toys. Pretty much we're going to start by uh, telling all the things about the robot, then we are going to take it apart with this screwdriver, yeah, and I'll give you a couple things I know about this guy just for you guys to know. So pretty much I got this robot today in a Chinese shop. He sings Gangnam Style, which I did not really think he would, but he did. Um, he's pretty much, it's brand new. I never opened it before, so this is um, fail-proof. Yeah, it's not going to fail because I know these chips have this kind of, uh, of contacts that they never use. But pretty much what I want to modify about this guy is the hands. When you buy one of these robots, the hands are always flashing continuously, it, no matter if they are red or blue. The point with this is that the sound chip has a way to make the lights, these two red LEDs, to flash with the sound chip um, as, as the sound chip goes as the sound chip goes by. So pretty much what I'll, well, what you will have to do in case you have um, a red hand version is just disconnect the wire and connect it in the chip. Now, if you have the blue hand version, it will be a bit harder to do it because you will need a transistor, which I will show in the second video. But right now, we're going to show just the stuff of him. Um, box contains the robot with the cover, with the super awesome screw, with the plastic that is behind him. And the box itself, which in this case, as, as I said before, it's the, it's uh, damaged, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Apparently, the box was from other robot, because look, the um, if you guys see, this one has a cross, not this one, and pretty much it's this one. So I just don't know if they just messed with it or what. Okay, so going with the robot, the robot uses three AA batteries, um, has a propeller, he goes to one side, then he opens the legs and arms. Um, then this spinning thing on his ass makes him rotate. And if he's like this, I mean, he goes like this, then he opens like that. He goes like this, and then he goes like that. Then he spins again, and he goes like that, and that, and like that, um, making a square. Yeah, he goes like that, like that, like that, and like that. So, um, pretty much... This, this guy is pretty awesome. I As I said before, it's never opened, so I'm sure I will not fail. But we're going to put the batteries in, just for you guys to know. What I'm going to modify, yeah. What will I modify? Well, we're going to see it right now. Fuck. I feel like those Asian dudes that have those... Uh, YouTube channels where, where they just show things and suddenly the battery cover just pops off and I'm like, they are like, what? <laughs> so yeah, um, here's a robot. If you guys noticed, the hand LEDs, they keep flashing and they don't blink. Well, what happens here is that, um, as far as I remember from my first AGL step it, these robots have the LEDs connected to the motor. Pretty much the positive contact of both LEDs has a resistor attached to them, preventing them from get burned. That's the reason why they don't burn out. So what you have to do is uh, take it apart and, well, I'll, I'll tell you guys later. Yeah, right now we're going to start to take this guy apart. So, first of all, we're going to put the phone here. Hope it does not touch the uh, turn off button because if not, I'm fried. We're gonna, and I'm gonna show each of the screws I have to remove. There are two on the head, one at each arm here, and two at one one on each leg. So again, here we go. The first time I take this guy apart. Yep. I gotta enjoy this because it's I'm doing it in front of my camera. <laughs> so
So, um, as I said, it's not, I'm sure it's not gonna fail because I've did it with a lot of my robots. I've did it with the Iron Man dancing robot, with the, um, well, actually, I did not do it with the Changsheng because the, those, those LEDs actually, they already blink by their own. They are those uh, color changing LEDs. But, anyways, um, pretty much what you have to do is just take all those six screws apart like this and take them out pretty much you, you just don't need to know where each one goes because they are all the same so now oh shit here's where the funny cut where the funny part comes first of all as yeah this one's another one as I don't want to ruin him or scratch him what I will do is I will get the battery cover off and I will put it here so pretty much this should go out really easily, revealing that this has no wire, no light, no speaker attachment, so you just get it really easily out. Now here's the mechanism. First time I take it apart, guys. If you guys... Fuck me. Uh, sorry people, it's just my stupid hand. Hope I did not just paint the back of him. God damn it. Here we go. Sir. He falls by his own. Really. Like the back weight. He just... It does not let him... He falls over. Okay, no problem about that. I'll just take the batteries out. Because you just cannot make him stand here. He's going to fall. And at one moment, I'm sure he's going to start uh, getting this painted. Or even worse, he could get broken. Now, one thing you will really want to be careful about this robot when you get... Oh, see? When he fell, this wire here broke. This is the wire for the, the propeller. So I will have to um, put the soldering iron. Let me just plug in my soldering iron and I will just resolder that wire. However, um, meanwhile this gets... Meanwhile, the soldering iron gets hot. We're going to explain exactly what I said before. Here's a sound chip, which, as you, as you guys, if you guys see, here's the uh, speaker contacts that are not really. What's up with the focus of this camera? I'll be right back. Okay, however, um, sorry, I think it was a problem of the battery. I'm not sure. I just plugged it into my charger since it had a 27% of battery. So yeah, um, I just moved all the screws and the batteries and all the stuff that were here in here. Yeah, they are inside here. So that I have, I, so that I am a lot more tidier in this. So yeah, um, when you guys open this guy, you're going to find out that the sound chip has, of course, for all those who know, it's going to be super easy, but for all those who don't, be careful. Here are the speaker contacts, and here the positive and the negative contacts for the battery. Here are three um, contacts that, these are the ones that I'm going to use for the transistor in case that he has blue hands which I'm going to show it later in the second video but the pro the thing with this is that basically if the robot has this normal hands then uh, I mean if it has the red hands then it's not going to be necessary for it's, it's, it's not gonna be necessary to put a transistor here so pretty much what we, what we have here is, here's where the, the red LED should be connected, the middle one. Here, this first one is the one, I think, for the positive, yeah, the positive contact. And this one right here, uh, as it's not connected to anything, this one's the one, in case you have a blue LED and you have to put a transistor, this will be where you have to connect the transistor. Let me just bring a... A transistor just to show you guys what it looks like okay guys I just brought the transistor if you guys can watch closely right here yeah it's not really noticeable from this view but the transistor this is the transistor that they most use at the um, how's it called at the um, at the battery operated fake toys because it's a D331 um, transistor 
pretty much the transistor should go like this. Pretty much, when you get a transistor, you have to find out what does each uh, leg serve for, yeah? The first one is the one that goes to the positive or the negative, it depends. The second one is the one that goes to the positive of the light or the negative. Again, it depends. Uh, example, if you have negative for the light, then you're going to have you're going to have to connect this first one to the negative. Now, if you have a positive here, you're going to have to connect this one to the positive of the of the chip or the battery. So again, um, this second one serves for the one, the contact, this middle contact, which if it would be for a uh, blue LED, it would not have enough power. So basically the transistor serves like something, like a component for increasing the uh, voltage in this. So pretty much what you, what you have to do is first of all, check all three, um, all three parts. The one that's, uh, this one that's not, it's not connected to any other thing in the circuit board, it's the last one. The last one is the one that should be the increased, uh, like, like, like the increased contact. Basically, the transistor should go like this, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. But I will show this in the next video. Now, uh, you guys see the motor, you guys see everything. Let me just solder the, uh, the wire from the contact of the, of the head propeller. Here we go. Nice. It's soldered back. So as I said before, yeah, here's the resistor with the with the LED positive contact that is connected to the motor. So um, now I will show how this guy works with batteries in without the front cover, which again, it's going to be really hard to show it because the feet, if you guys just noticed, they have to be holded from two places for the robot to actually work fine because if not this this feet just they, they keep on moving like this and they just um, go out of the pattern they have on this gear right here yeah see they just go out so pretty much I'll just show it on like holding it what I'm surprised about this one is that actually the um, this part here is green I never seen a green one before <laughs> There you go. If you guys just noticed that it was because um I just um got this contact a bit up here, yeah. When you move this contacts, basically these contacts are for the fan, for the propeller to work. Basically, the middle axis serves for the negative and the outer, which is a spring, yeah, it's like a, a very cool spring, it serves for the positive contacts. So, um, I will just take out, like, 